quick tip of the day when it comes to 3D printing and you have some rough edges on your parts. So commonly you start uh, sanding probably and you just use sandpaper and like this, check it, okay, a little bit more, uh, yeah. Sometimes you do you have to do that on edges that are not so easy to get to or you just, like me, hate sanding and think it's yeah, not so much fun. For you guys, I have this tool. Um, I wasn't aware of this until I been in a, a factory for plastic parts and they use this and this is very widespread in the industry because also of course when you do um, manufacturing big scale of plastic parts you have edges and not so little sometimes so in order to have a good quality and satisfy your customer and not hurt your employees and so on because those edges can be really sharp because most of them are wearing gloves but still if you're in the in the warehouse or something and you have to package them then maybe you're not and sometimes you have a bad day you don't want to wear them so if you have those edges easiest thing is to use this tool and you can see it's it's movable here on the front and it has two edges so it's mostly round but it's flattened on this side so you have this edge and the other one and these are very very sharp so what you do you take your part And then you just whoop, shake your, take your sharp edge and run it across the part. And as you can see, you just cut off, grind off that sharp edge. It is a very, very fast, very efficient way to smoothen the edge and I just did that for my parts here uh, very, very, very fast and we end up with this, uh, this cut-off material but you can just, like me here with my little bench bin, so to say, just clean that off into the garbage and you're left with your clean parts and I use that all the time and I'm really satisfied every time so you can see this edge which we just, just did nice and easy and the other one's still a little bit rough because we broke off the support material and we're using a brim which is the, the base support and if you print on that Especially with the uh, PETG, the material that I'm using here, um, it starts warping a little bit because my my print bed is non-heated, not heated. So yeah, you get this edge and you break off the parts. You come in with your little deburr tool and start cutting the edge. So highly recommend it. If you do a lot of printing and you don't like sanding, just get yourself one of these and have a really fun time cleaning up your parts. Save some time. Enjoy.